In light of the prospect of of potentially having found the famous plane of Amelia Earhart, let us take a look at the life of the legend. Imagine if you will, having the power to rewrite the pages of the past, the ability to untangle one of the most resilient enigmas of the 20th century. Today we delve into not just the life, but also the enigmatic disappearance of Amelia Earhart, the unrivaled queen of the skies, whose fate continues to ignite the inquisitiveness of countless individuals across the globe. Born on July 24, 1897, in the quiet town of Atchison, Kansas, destined for greatness, Amelia Mary Earhart was nurtured for the skies. Amelia was the product of a family that held self-reliance and independence in high regard, qualities that would later form the foundation of her adventurous spirit. Let's trace Amelia's roots a bit further. Earhart's father, Samuel Edwin Stanton Earhart, was a lawyer by profession, and her mother, Amelia Amy Otis Earhart, a descendant of early settlers, was known for her progressive views on often eschewing conventional norms. From the tender age of seven, Amelia was building makeshift roller coasters and fantasizing about exotic adventures. Amelia's relentless spirit of adventure stirred when she first saw an airplane at the Iowa State Fair. She famously said, it was a thing of rusty wire and wood, but to me it was pure magic. Her spirit of adventure and courage were admired not just during her era, but continue to inspire to this day. Popular media including the acclaimed film Amelia and the historical novel I Was Amelia Earhart reflect upon her indomitable spirit. In the words of Amelia herself, the most difficult thing is the decision to act, the rest is merely tenacity. Such was the individual that Amelia Earhart was, a woman fueled by passion, curiosity, and a fearless drive to explore the world. Amelia's passion for aviation was kindled on an unforgettable 10-minute plane ride at an air show in Long Beach, California, in the year 1920. Each detail of that flight etched deeply in her memory, from the roar of the engine to the sensation of being lifted off the ground. Amelia's experience was so transformative that she declared, as soon as we left the ground, I knew I myself had to fly. In the subsequent year, Amelia embarked on her journey of becoming a pilot by taking flying lessons from the pioneer female aviator, Anita Netta Snook. The training was rigorous, pushing her to her physical and mental limits. She spent countless early mornings and late nights at the airfield, poring over manuals and practicing maneuvers. Netta once said about her student, Amelia absorbed everything like a sponge. She had the guts criminal and was never afraid to push the envelope. Amelia's pursuit of aviation didn't come without financial struggles. She worked a multitude of jobs, from truck driver to stenographer, to scrape together enough money for her lessons. She was so determined to achieve her dream that she even sold her beloved car. Her hard work finally paid off when she managed to buy her first aircraft, a second-hand Kinner Airster. She affectionately named it the Canary, because of its vibrant yellow color, a symbol of her bright future in aviation. Amelia's journey has been retold and glorified in several media, from books to films. The film Amelia depicts her rise from an unknown dreamer to a celebrated aviator. The biography, The Sound of Wings, recounts the details of her first flight and her struggles in detail, and Fly Girls celebrates her achievements as a pioneering female pilot. Amelia continues to inspire generations as a symbol of determination and passion. Amelia's aviation journey soared to previously uncharted heights in 1932, when she courageously became the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. This daring endeavor was fraught with challenges. She faced strong winds, mechanical problems, and the loneliness of the open sky. But Amelia was not deterred. In her own words, she declared, the most difficult thing is the decision to act, the rest is merely tenacity. Her remarkable achievement captivated the world, sparking headlines in major newspapers and magazines. The New York Times lauded her as Lady Lindy, while Time magazine declared her Queen of the Air. Her tenacious feat was a resounding declaration of the capabilities of women, shattering glass ceilings in the male-dominated field of aviation. Amelia Earhart was hailed as an emblem of the new modern woman, but Amelia's adventurous spirit didn't merely stop at the Atlantic. In 1935, she further etched her name in aviation history by becoming the first person to fly solo from Honolulu, Hawaii, to Oakland, California. This achievement was one of many that firmly positioned her as one of the most influential and inspiring female aviators in history. From then on, every mention of her name became synonymous with courage, tenacity, and the relentless pursuit of dreams. 
However, it is Amelia's final flight that has encapsulated the imagination of the world for nearly a century, a journey shrouded in an enduring mystery. In the year of 1937, Amelia endeavored to undertake a daring mission, a mission to circumnavigate the globe, a feat that very few had attempted. Amelia Earhart, the courageous aviator and her navigator Fred Noonan, began their adventurous expedition from Miami on the 1st of June. Adventure is worthwhile in itself, Amelia once said, underlining her indomitable spirit thirst for exploration. Yet the duo never managed to complete their ambitious journey. On July 2nd, having navigated nearly two-thirds of their voyage, Amelia and Fred disappeared without a trace the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean, specifically near an obscure point named Howland Island. The sudden and inexplicable disappearance led to one of the most extensive sea and air searches in naval history, all orchestrated by the American Navy and Coast Guard. Despite their relentless efforts, no remnant of the plane or its occupants was ever found. In the face of a lack of concrete evidence, the mystery of Amelia Earhart's disappearance has spawned countless investigations, theories and speculations over the years. We are as prepared as any two people could be, Fred Noonan had said prior to their final departure, adding a poignant layer to the mystery. Did they exhaust their fuel reserves and plummet into the unforgiving sea? Were they intercepted and taken captive by the Japanese, as suggested by several conspiracy theorists? Or did they somehow manage to survive and out the rest of their days on a deserted island, as romanticized by popular culture? Renowned media houses like National Geographic and BBC have extensively covered this enduring mystery. Their intriguing documentaries and specials have fueled to the debate, presenting multiple perspectives and theories. Amelia's story has also inspired numerous films, books and songs, including the Oscar-winning film Amelia, further attesting to the enduring intrigue of her story. Yet, despite the relentless pursuit of truth, Amelia's fate remains an elusive enigma, thereby etching her name permanently in the annals of mystery. Amelia Earhart's life remains a symbol of the unyielding power of determination and courage. She was bold, setting numerous aviation records that are still revered to this day. Among these records, she was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic, a feat that echoed around the world and defied the gender constraints of her time. Her audacious spirit didn't stop at the aviation records. She ardently challenged societal norms and was a staunch advocate for women's rights. I want to do it because I want to do it. Women must try to do things as men have tried, she famously declared, a sentiment that resounds with women even today. Earhart's influence penetrated generations, inspiring women to pursue their dreams, no matter how far they may seem. She was a role model for future women aviators and for all women deciding to push boundaries in male-dominated fields. Even popular media couldn't escape her charm. Books, documentaries, songs and countless articles have been created, honoring and analyzing her life and legacy. The mystery surrounding her disappearance continues to be one of history's greatest unsolved puzzles, further adding to her enduring legacy. Amelia Earhart, a symbol of strength, bravery and enigma, to captivate our collective imagination. Her words, the most effective way to do it is to do it, serve as a timeless of her indomitable spirit. As we continue to seek answers about her fate, her legacy lives on, inspiring us to break barriers and dare to dream. Amelia Earhart's life and legacy have had an immense influence on popular culture, with her story being immortalized in various forms of media. Her courage, determination and pioneering spirit have captivated audiences, and her story has been told and retold in various ways, each time inspiring a new generation of dreamers and adventurers. In film, Amelia's story came to life in the 2009 biopic Amelia, with Hilary Swank playing the iconic aviator. The film depicted her life, her achievements, and the mystery surrounding her disappearance, captivating audiences worldwide. Her story has also been told in numerous documentaries, including Amelia Earhart, The Lost Evidence, which delved into the mystery of her last flight. Books have been another medium through which Amelia's story has been shared. The Sound of Wings, The Life of Amelia Earhart, by Mary S. Lovell, is a comprehensive biography that provides an in-depth look at her life and achievements. In the realm of fiction, I Was Amelia Earhart by Jane Mendelssohn imagines what might have happened to Amelia and her navigator Fred Noonan after their disappearance. Music too has paid tribute to Amelia. American folk singer-songwriter Joni Mitchell's song Amelia is a poignant tribute to the aviator, with lyrics that reflect on her courage and the mystery of her disappearance. 
From films to books to music, Amelia Earhart's influence on popular culture is undeniable. Her story continues to inspire, captivate and intrigue, ensuring that her legacy lives on. In every retelling, her spirit soars again, reminding us of her courage and her groundbreaking achievements. Today she remains a beacon of inspiration, encouraging us all to dream big and never give up, no matter the odds. In the wake of Amelia Earhart's disappearance, a flurry of investigations and searches were launched. Despite the passage of time, the mystery surrounding her final flight continues to captivate the world. Today, modern technology and persistent explorers are shedding new light on Amelia's fate. The International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery, or TIGAR, has been at the forefront of these efforts. Since 1985, they have embarked on numerous expeditions to Nikumaroro, an uninhabited atoll in the Pacific Ocean. According to their theory, Amelia and her navigator, Fred Noonan, may have crash-landed on this remote island, surviving for a time as castaways. Artifacts found on the island, including fragments of an old mirror, a shoe part, and a freckle cream jar, have been linked to Amelia, adding credibility to this theory. In 2012, a photograph surfaced that some believe shows the landing gear of Amelia's plane protruding from the water near the island. While the photo's authenticity is disputed, it has fueled further exploration and research. Another theory, proposed by the National Geographic Society, suggests that Amelia crashed into the ocean near Howland Island, her intended destination. In 2019, Robert Ballard, the oceanographer who discovered the Titanic, led an expedition to this area. Using state-of-the-art technology, they searched the ocean floor for signs of Amelia's plane, but came back empty-handed. Despite these efforts, the mystery of Amelia's final flight remains unsolved. Each new discovery only seems to deepen the intrigue, keeping her story alive in our collective consciousness. As we continue to search for answers, Amelia Earhart's spirit continues to inspire us, reminding us of the power of curiosity, courage, and perseverance. As the voiceover continues, the enigma of Amelia Earhart's disappearance has remained a beacon in the world of aviation and exploration, a testament to our relentless pursuit of answers and understanding. Her story, shrouded in mystery, has become a symbol of the unyielding human spirit, the courage to venture into the unknown, and the determination to defy the odds. Amelia's legacy isn't just about her accomplishments as an aviator, but about the spirit of exploration she embodied and passed on to future generations. In the words of Eileen Collins, the first female space shuttle pilot and commander, Amelia Earhart's courage and determination to break barriers is an inspiration. She didn't let anyone or anything stand in her way. Her story continues to inspire me and countless others who dream of touching the sky. Likewise, modern-day explorer Robert Ballard, who led the expedition to find Amelia's plane, reflects, In our search, we didn't just look for a plane. We looked for the embodiment of boldness and resilience that Amelia represented. Her legacy lives on in every explorer who dares to venture into the unknown. As we delve deeper into the mystery surrounding Amelia's final flight, we don't just search for remnants of a plane, but for the spirit of a remarkable woman who dared to push boundaries. Each new theory, each expedition, each artifact unearthed, keeps her memory alive, turning Amelia Earhart from a historical figure into an enduring symbol of courage and exploration. In this quest for answers, we continue to honor her legacy, reminding us to always reach for new heights, no matter the obstacles we may face.